down here, Merc. You're up. Chill. Don't get cocky. Unbelievable. You soldier guys sure are something. Hard to believe we got a guy like you in a group like Avalanche. So, what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? Thought they were the enemy. He isn't Soldier anymore, Jesse. Besides, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. What was your name again? Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife, eh? I'm... Not interested. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. What did I just say? Told you to never move as a group. Our target's Marco Reactor One. We'll rendezvous at the bridge in front of it. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gear. Run by holding Council while using the direction buttons. on yourself and give up now. Don't worry. I'm staying here to secure the escape route. Jeez. We're really gonna blow this huge reactor? It'll be awesome. That's for sure. So, soldier boy, this your first time in a reactor? Did you forget? I did work for Shinra, remember? Oh, I remember. I know full well that you've been Shinra's lapdog. Bet you guys just eat up everything they tell you, huh? Like what Marco is. 
Well, let me tell you what they won't. Marco's not just some energy source. It's the lifeblood of the planet. And Shinra's using all this crap to suck it dry. You're not paying me to listen, so save it. You right. Looks like we gotta keep Lapdog on a tight leash. Push that button for me, will ya? This reactor's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. And one day, it'll all be gone. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Can you really live with that? I can and I will. I'd worry less about the planet, and more about what's waiting for us down there. me too much, okay? What are you waiting for? Go on already. We blow this place, there ain't gonna be nothing left but a pile of rubble. Alright, lapdog. Why don't you set up the bomb? Shouldn't you do this? I'll watch the rear. As far as I'm concerned, you're the one that needs watching. So go on. Do the honors. <sighs> Fine. Wake up. This isn't just a reactor. I said, what is it? Something wrong? <laughs> I'm fine. What in the 
the hell? You been in all them double coasters? when its tail is up. It will counterattack with its laser. Pull your shit together. Get the alarm. Come on, we gotta move. Five minutes to detonation.
That should keep the planet going. At least a little longer. Yeah! The planet's what matters. This had to have helped! Can't wait to see Marlene. And she's good to go. Now stand clear. Fire in the hole! <laughs> All right, let's get our asses home. We'll rendezvous on the train. Split up and make your way to Sector 8 Station. Hey, wait! If it's about your money, you can have it. Once we're back at base. Excuse me, has something happened? Don't worry about it. Hey. Hmm. Oh, these? You like them? They're only a gill each. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Here, this is for you. Shinra Military Police, eh? Just get this over with. As you go. Sorry, but I don't have time to mess around with you guys. That's enough of your lip. Seize him! Guess Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine, right? Guys from Soldier, right? Besides, 
He wouldn't let anything get in the way of his goddamn cash. Be good to have him. What do you think, boss? With that guy? The hell would I know? I ain't no mind reader. Hm. It's cause of you screw-ups that I had to hire that jackass in the first place. Oh yeah, Barrett! About our pay! I mean... Boy! I'm so glad we helped the planet! <sighs> Cloud. Cloud! Late for our appointment? Hey, you damn right you late! Come waltzing in here, make it a big scene! giving public security the runaround. Getting everyone worried is more like it. You don't care about no one but yourself. Oh? You were worried about me. What? Oh, hell no. That's coming out of your shit, hot shot. Yo, people, come on. Let's move up. Hey, Cloud. Thanks. <laughs> Cloud, let's keep this up for the next mission. Careful. I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud! Your face! It's pitch black. There you go. Good as new. Hey, thanks for saving me back there at the reactor. Terrorists that bomb the reactor one are hiding out somewhere in the slums. Imagine, bombing a reactor? They must have a really calculating leader. I wonder where they'll strike next. You not a damn kid! Sit down! Looks like the train still isn't switched over to the emergency security system. It'll be a different story tomorrow. I'm gonna be famous thanks to Avalanche! Hey Cloud, wanna look at this with me? It's a display of the train route. Personally, I find the visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. Just so you know, I'm into this kind of thing. Bombs, monitors... I'm a high-tech kind of girl. <laughs> okay, it's about to start. So here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. It's around 1 to 10,000 scale, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. A huge pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are smaller ones for each sector. The smaller pillars are known as mechanical towers. Psst! We destroyed Reactor 1 on the northern edge. They're numbered in order. 2, 3, up to Reactor 8, which all sustain the whole system and provide electricity to Midgar. Each sector had a name once, but no one remembers them. Today, we just use numbers. That's the kind of place this is. Phew! Next we have this. Take a look! This is the route our train's on. The track spirals around the central pillar. Right now, we're about halfway. Each transit point has an ID check area. It scans information from all of the passengers, then cross-checks the data with the host computer at the Shinra building. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs.
speak of the devil. Those red flashes mean we're passing through the ID checkpoint. Psst. Because the lights go out, these trains are full of pervs who can't keep their hands to themselves. Well, enough about that. We're almost home now. What a relief. Please, you'll bother the other passengers. Take a good look. You can see the surface. But this city looks up at an empty plate. Nothing but a metal sky and ground that don't grow anything. A city that floats in the sky. Pretty unsettling scenery. Oh, never expect to hear that out of you. You're just full of surprises. The world above. A city on a plate. It's because of that great pizza in the sky that people down here gotta struggle to survive. Marco pollution rains down on them. The air is filthy because it ain't got nowhere to go. And nothing's being done to clean it anymore either. On top of that, the Marco reactors keep pumping out energy. Thanks to them, the land's gone completely barren. Then why doesn't everyone just move up above? I don't know. Probably can't afford to. Or maybe. Because they don't want to live on a plate. They prefer the land under their feet. No matter how poisoned it is. Yeah, I understand. No one lives in the slums because they enjoy it there. They're like this train. It can only run where the tracks have been laid. Over here, all of you. That mission was a success, but don't get careless. The big one's still to come. No getting cold feet. Cause the next one's really gonna wake them up. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. See your childhood friend that bad, huh? Out of my way. Hey, calm down. You'll attract too much attention. <laughs> 